I guess um, I've had a little bit of experience with early education, most of it focusing around innovation. Um, I've had students understand what 3D printing is, but still can't un like write out the ABCDs um, who are in kindergarten, right? And I think the biggest thing that I've learned is the only thing that pushes these students back is self-doubt. That's really mm -hmm. self-doubt. It's That's the biggest thing that I've seen in any elementary schooler mm -hmm. is this idea that they have, it's almost inherited, this idea of self-doubt that they can't do something just because the people around them can't do it either, right? When you grow up in this environment, and it's completely different with COVID and things like that as well, but it, you grow up in this environment where you're seeing people around you and you constantly put that pressure on you that I can't do this, right? And then from teachers' perspective and everything like that, they have a set curriculum. They have something that they have to follow. Not all of it is tailored towards a specific student or a specific group of people, which sometimes makes it so that all of these students feel like they have to be a carbon copy of each other, right? Mm -hmm. Do things in the same way, do things with the, you know, even as simple as doing things with the same handwriting in I can tell you in second grade, I tried to change my handwriting to make it look like my best friend's handwriting. Yeah. And it's something as simple as that, right? If curriculums aren't tailored towards a student, and this goes far beyond just illiteracy as well, if curriculums aren't tailored to a student, whether that be innovation or anything around it, the student won't feel like they're where they're supposed to be. The student will feel like they're out of place and they won't have the same, or they won't, put themselves out there for the same opportunities and they will always carry that self-doubt behind them.